Let's read Corky Cub's Crazy Caps. Corky Cub played with Connie Cougar every day after school. They were best friends, pals, chums, and they always wore matching caps. Corky and Connie played catch. They colored with crayons and they made chocolate chip cookies. But most of all, they liked adding crazy creations to their matching caps. One day, Connie told Corky she had bad news. Very bad news. Corky held his breath. Connie sniffed. She hiccuped. And then she continued, I'm moving away. Oh no, said Corky, you're my best chum. The two friends were much too sad to eat their chocolate chip cookies. Too soon, moving day came. Corky and Connie wore their favorite caps. They said goodbye and they both cried as Connie's car drove away. Corky Cub was so lonely. He couldn't play catch and he did not want to color pictures or make chocolate chip cookies. Call some other chums, said Mama. I can't. I don't have any other chums, said Corky. Make some new chums, said Papa. I can't. I don't know how to make new chums, said Corky. Corky climbed up the stairs and he crawled into bed. The next day, Corky was late for school. His teacher, Alpha Betty, asked Corky why he looked so sad. My only chum moved away, said Corky. That is a problem, said Alpha Betty. Let's put on our thinking caps. Then she chuckled. Oh, caps! That has given me an idea. Create a new cap, Corky. A friend-making cap. Wear your new cap tomorrow and wear your most cheerful smile. That night, Corky created a friend-making cap. He hoped it would give him courage. Mama and Papa helped. They cut out colorful patches. They, chipped, they clipped on pins. They sewed on cool buttons. And they put a crazy pinwheel on top. Corky wore his new cap as he walked to school the next day. And he practiced smiling. Casey Crow called, Colorful cap, Corky! Carrie Cat called, Cute cap, Corky! And Calvin Camel caught Corky's arm. Cool cap, dude, said Calvin. Corky walked into school wearing his most cheerful smile. Alpha Betty smiled too. In a brave voice, Corky called out, Hi, everybody. Corky's classmates all looked up. They saw Corky's cap. Then they went crazy. They wanted to know how he made it. Bring a cap tomorrow, said Corky. I can help, make, help you make cool caps too. The next day, Corky carried two big sacks to school. He was so excited. In one sack were colorful patches, clip-on pins, cool buttons, and crazy pinwheels. In the other sack was a carton of Corky's tasty chocolate chip cookies. Corky's class made very creative caps. Then they ate the tasty chocolate chip cookies. Everyone thanked Corky Cub. And Corky said, you're welcome. Then he smiled without even trying. May we wear our crazy caps every Friday? The class asked their teacher. We could have a crazy cat cap club, said Corky. What a cool idea, said Alpha Betty. 
So the children started having crazy cap club meetings every Friday. They wore their crazy caps. They made chocolate chip cookies. And Corky had more chums than he could count. Corky still missed Connie Cougar, of course. He sent her a cool package. Dear Connie, he wrote on the card, here's a picture of me in my new crazy cap. I made a crazy cat for you, too. Chums forever, Corky Cub. Connie loved her crazy cap. She quickly wrote back to Cor Corky. Thank you, Corky. You're still my best chum. And guess what? I can come to visit you this summer. Corky Cub and his old chum had a great visit. And Corky and his new chums invited Connie to join their club. Everyone in the Crazy Cap Club had a terrific time that summer and for many summers after. The end. Thank you for reading with me.